family member too. So yeah, I live under a kindness. We visit about lab white, which is three case very secure load in star configuration. Okay, we start with the learning outcome. First is demonstrate the theoretical of the complex load. Assalamualaikum. Hi. My name is Muhammad Salahuddin. Uh, the part 1 balance pure resistive flow. Uh, the first experiment procedure is set up the following circuit as in figure 1. Connect the resistor in start configuration and set it to a level of 750 ohm. Switch on the variable three phases power supply and set the phase voltage to 230 volt. And lastly, record the following results. So this is the final result for resistive load. As we can see, the phase voltage and line voltage for 750, 500 and 200 are constant. For the current, it is increased from 0.32 Ampere, 0.5 Ampere and 1.21 Ampere. The total power is also increased from 220 watt, 343 watt and 831 watt and that we calculate by using the given formula. From this result we can conclude that the less value of resistance the more the current and the power will be. Uh, hello and good morning my name is Ali Murshini Ben Anwar and today I'm going to continue for the part 2 balance poor inductive load okay for the experiment procedure is set the following circuit as in figure 2 and then connect the inductive load in star configuration and set this to level one of 1.2 Henry 2 Henry and 3.2 Henry in succession and and then uh, switch the variable three phase power supply on and set it to a voltage of 400 volt and then uh, this is the result of the inductive load uh, for the 1.2 Henry, 2 Henry and 3.2 Henry uh, we can see that uh, formula for the reactants is uh, QL divided by I square and the result is for the 1.2 Henry is 351.24 ohm and for the 2 Henry is 575 ohm and for the 3.2 Henry is 972.22 ohm uh, for this result uh, we can conclude that uh, when the value of the inductive increase the value of reactants also increase Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Amir Fikri bin Mualis okay, Today I'm going to explain to you guys about part 3 Balance pure capacitive load Okay, I'm going to go through the experiment procedure Okay, the first one is to set up the following circuit as in figure Okay, so this is the figure that has been given in the lab So it is just like a guideline that we have to follow uh, It also have given you how to, to set up your wire It has given you everything so you just have to follow. So the second one is to connect the capacity flow in stack configuration and set it to 2 micro F, 4 micro F and 6 micro F in succession one after the other. Okay, so this is we just uh this is the 2 micro F here. This is 4 micro F and this is 6 micro F. You just have to follow this uh this guideline that have been given. 
So the third one is to switch on the variable 3 phase power supply and set the phase voltage to 230 volts. So this is here is the power supply. We have to set it to 230 volts. Okay, that's it. Okay. Okay, this is the result of the capacity load. So this is the result that we can get from from the digital. This is the digital. So here we can get the the, the, the output result. So you so this, this is the, the result 230 volt 400 401 this is from the from the digital. But the XC here is not from the digital, it's from the formula that have given. So this is the formula of the reactants XC. So we have to we just have to use the formula and we can get the result. From this experiment, in balance resistive load, we can conclude the power output is affected by the resistor. It has been shown from the result we, when the lower of the resistor is applied to the circuit, the power output will be increased. Then, for balance inductive load, we can conclude that the reactant for each circuit is affected by the inductant that apply to the circuit. As we can see from the result, the more amount of inductant that apply to the circuit, the higher of the reactant that we get. It has been calculated using formula SL equal to Q over I square. For the last part, which is balance pure capacitive load, we can conclude the reactant are affected by the capacities by the capacitive applied. We can see from the result the more the capacitive apply so that the reactant will be increased too. The reactant in this part we calculate using formula XC equal to V over I.